Guys, this is my video project for Homo Erectus. So today I'll be going over some facts and telling you guys a little bit about Homo Erectus. To start off, let's talk about how long ago they were alive and where they lived. So they were alive about 2 million years ago and they lived in Africa. 2 million years ago they were starting to learn about the environment around them. Then slowly over time, the environment started to get drier and so Homo erectus wasn't able to get the water they needed. Also, the rainforest started to shrink. Then Homo erectus started to learn how to walk on two legs since they needed all the energy they had. They also needed the energy to hunt since they were the first hunters and also because the meat provided all the protein they needed. Alright, now moving on to some other facts. Let's move on to physiology. Homo erectus had a bigger jaw than us, so they were able to eat a lot more food than us. For them, once they started to walk, they also learned how to run. Now, they need to run just in case they were getting chased by a big dangerous animal, or something dangerous was going on, or something dangerous was near them. Also, they need to run to hunt down the animal that provides the food. Now, the biggest part of their body, the brain. Developed. So, Homo erectus had a slightly smaller brain, but they still needed the calories since they were learning about so much stuff around their environment and to make their body function. They were able to come up with a tool that can kill enemies but not themselves. Homo erectus was the first to create and live in a society where all of them work together to cook and take care of themselves and each other. Last but certainly not least were the tools. Now, the tools Homo erectus made aren't like the modern tools we have now. They're, they had sample tools made from stone to help them get their food. Since this type of, our type of technology was not available at the time, they had to be very safe on hunting since it can be very dangerous to hunt a big animal that can kill you very easily. Again, they were the first hunters and they were the first fire makers. So anything you heard about cavemen making fire? It's not true, sadly. Hey guys, and welcome to the Homo habilis side of the project. I will be going over some information about Homo habilis and telling you a bit about their tools and other stuff. So, let's start off with where they lived, and how long ago they were alive. So, they live in Africa, and were alive about 1 to 2 million years ago. Now, let's move on to the brain development. Their brain was 50% larger than Australopithecus' brain, which means it was slightly smaller than Homo erectus' brain, or at least the same size. Homo habilis had a larger brain capacity as well, so they needed a lot of calories just like us and Homo erectus. Let's move on to their tools. So they were very, they made very simple tools out of stone. Another fact is they weren't skillful hunters, so they might have had a problem hunting some animals since they only had very simple tools. Also, Homo habilis used spears to hunt since it was easier to hunt the animals from a longer range. Now, moving on to the last part, the physiology. So they were the first real humans, and they started walking upright on two legs instead of four like an ape. They were also very tall, and they were very strong, and they started to bury the dead. Alright, so guys, that's it for my Homo habilis part of the, my project, and let's head into the comparison. Hey guys, and welcome to the last part of the project the comparison so let's get right into it homo habilis and homo erectus had a lot of differences and similarities but overall they're both are basically the same evolution all right so moving into the comparisons so some similarities and differences are, are that their brain homo habilis had a slightly smaller brain than us and that's the exact same thing as homo erectus but there is a catch to this which is a difference it's that they had different brain capacities. Also, 
Another difference was their bodies, because one had more hair than the other. Homo erectus made tools from stone, and so did Homo habilis. Homo habilis, however, had more simple tools than Homo erectus. Also, Homo habilis didn't have the same hunting abilities. Homo habilis wasn't fully human like Homo erectus, and Homo habilis was more ape-like than human at one point. Now, there is some stuff they had in common, which is their food source, since they needed, they both needed a lot of meat to have their bodies function. Also, they lived in Africa together.